Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our magical flute of the topic of today, that the melody I'm sure you all know from one of the greatest composers of human history, that everyone I'm sure know all over the world. Here we are. Isn't it just beautiful and magical and attractive and light and floating and just sweet as possible, weightless, uh, untouchable sound that the flute creates? What makes the flute sound so magical? The, the basic uh, the idea is that uh, the, the, the sound created by sound waves, traveling sound waves that we listen to and all other instruments there is a physical material that we can touch that is attached to the sound creation like in the strings there is a string the percussion there is something that they are hitting uh, the metal or wood or uh, animal skin or plastic or whatever they use for that uh, the brass instrument the human lips the singers the human vocal cords the woodwind instruments the double reed the single reed there is a physical material that is vibrating, <clears throat> but in the case of flute, nothing, only air. We blow air into a tube and the sound is there. There you go. This is how the fruit operates. This is how the fruit uh, sound created. This is why we call the flute related instruments in the family as aerophonic instruments. You cannot touch because only air is involved in the creation of the song. Here's another example for that that I would like to share with you. Um, the Hungarian composer in the 20th century, second half, who called himself as the last romantic Hungarian composer. He loved the flute so much, he wrote even two flute concertos, and here's the second movement of his second flute concerto. I would love to share with you because I just love it since I recorded it in 1989. You feel that floating characteristics, like a very, hori very horizontal floating, like in a great uh, the birthday party, you put uh, the bubbling water into your pool and everything is just floating, enjoying the champagne and everything at the moment uh, that you don't want to forget. Why is it so interesting and why is it so unique, the flute? because this is the oldest human instrument that we have from history. Actually, the, the Neanderthal human already they used the, the flute and we have from them these six holes, bare bone flute, human made bare bone flute that, that is 60,000 year old. We have great flute cultures from other the, uh, continents too. In Asia, we have uh, the, in China, there is this 900 BC uh, originating picture when you can see that ladies are blowing the flute. And also is a pre-Christian uh, side uh, the, uh, flute performance, cross flute playing 200 before Jesus Christ, also from Europe. So flute became extremely popular because of its characteristics all over the world, every continent, 5,000 years old flute culture in Peru, South America, and uh, you can find it in the everywhere. And people like it so much that the flute started to get developed gradually. You saw the bear bone had just four finger holes on the, on the pipe that they blew the air in. Henry VIII had a so big collection of the flutes like wives and he applied also the six holes flutes and had different flutes for the different ranges that they were still conical instruments. And in the parish court, 
uh, Louis the Fourteenth Court, Mr. Otter, who who was um, inventing also the oboe, he also worked on the flute and added um, the new key to that, an E flat key. And in Italy, in 1535, you already had the very first flute school published by Gianassi del Fonteggio, and the the flute was also developed by Quanz. In 1752 and Tromlin 1786, they added uh, more fingering possibilities, cross fingerings like Mr. Hotete did to make sure that they can cover the same chromatic scale as the strings did. And in London in 1760, they added three more keys. Haydn Mozart used the eight keys flute. And finally, in 1820, Taubert Boehm, uh, they uh, totally re uh, model the mechanism, added new mechanism to the flute. And in 1847, uh, the flute that we still have today uh, was uh, created with a cylindrical body, as you can uh, you can see, if, uh, because Henry VIII still had conical body for the flute, cylindrical body with padded uh, cups uh, for each hole covering them. So. Finally, we got the virtuosic flute that we use today in the different uh, groups and the, the small version of it, the piccolo, is also can be seen. So you can see how long history we have of the flute. We are attracted to the sound of the air as one of the basic elements of basic forces in, in, in the physical world that we have. And we learned it that it creates a sound. So why don't we use it? And 60,000 years old bare bone proves how much we are attracted to the sound of the flute. And let's listen to another example of the flute. When again, the magical flute is represented with the magical sound because Mr. Ranke composed a piece called the Magic Potion. And the, when the magic happens, th th this means that when people became friends instead of enemies, he uses the sound as most important moment for the euphory of the flute. When people became friends and love and no stress and forever lasting happiness is represented, he applies the sound of this beautiful flute. Isn't it just super attractive? You can feel the floating, beautiful, magical sound representing timelessness, stresslessness. So we, as human beings, I think we are not uh, losers uh, because it's true we have to fight with uh, mortality every moment, but we are treating our senses so beautifully that, for example, with music, with the creation or connection to or discovery of music, we still don't know the answer for those questions, but we can treat our ears with beautiful music, music listening experience and aesthetic experience, which means enjoyment of the beauty of the sound and flute brings us to a world when we think, we feel, we assume time stopped, no tick tock, beautiful, timeless, less floating sound, and just brings us magic that we think the part of extension of human uh, longevity belongs to the treatment of our senses and music treats our ears with the magical sound of flute so beautifully that we feel that we are the luckiest living beings in the universe being a human because we have music. So please play, listen to, compose more and more music and our lives will be much better. And I promise that with my Hungarian accent, you will remember that sentence even more. 
Don't forget it. I will be back. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day. Don't forget the magical sound of the magical flute.